Hey guys, what's going on? I want to share a little something with you. On this video, sharing my heart on things I don't normally talk about, my mom commented on it. And, you know, I was going to read that comment for you guys. And um, I'm going to be seeing my mom on the 30th, or the 29th and 30th, um, going up north to her cabin, staying the night with her. And I'm going to make a video with her. And what she's going to do is, uh, you know, touch on some of my testimony so you guys know that I'm not, like, being stupid or lying or being crazy you know i have a witness to these things and you know maybe i can ask her about uh, what she experienced when she had that experience with the demon that was in my room so she said i'm the mother of three children i was born again saved when i only had one child she was eight all i ever wanted was for my children to know what i knew i walked my walk in filthy rags i often fell got tripped up by satan and chose of my own free will to stray. I grew in the Lord, had two more children, both sons. Not always the picture of Christ was I, but my heart wanted more for my kids. My youngest, which is me, gave me such trouble, broke my heart. I believe now that I was fighting Satan over my son. This little darling boy who always had smiled and literally fell into everyone's arms in affection, the one I felt so close to. The one whom was plagued with seizures as a baby, phone coming from his mouth. I often thought he was dying right before my eyes my heart was breaking you know that's something when i was little i had seizures really bad and you know i believe because of that because you know i had seizures led to high fever and i think that has a lot to do with like how i'm not able to articulate myself because i i i'm a little bit kind of autistic and i'm dyslexic and i have adhd as he grew, things changed. Instead of laughing and sharing, we fought. Said things we could not take back. I threw him out. I didn't want my house fouled by what he had become and what this was bringing out of me. I kept praying, yes, in weakness most of the time. As my heart was crushed, I thought it had gone too far. This boy that I played Christian lullabies to every night, prayed over and had such hope for God, please save him. Yeah, when my mom was younger, she played uh, these Christian lullabies from an album called Sleep, Sound, and Jesus. She would play them over and over and over again. And, you know, I that's kind of what I grew up to was just Christian lullabies. And, you know, the first time I sang, it's in my baby book. I was four months old and I sang Shine, Jesus, Shine. And she said, please don't ever give up. Plead before God. No, it is not by works. It is, it's him. As soon as David started speaking in this season, an old song from 1986 came into my heart, a song that meant so much to me as a young Christian. And you guys can go on this video and check out this song. Parent, don't quit. Keep faith. Thank you, Lord, for all that is within me. Words are not enough. Tears stream down my face as I write this. There are no tears in heaven, therefore, in his kingdom. Uh, in his kindness, God has allowed Eddie, to, which is my dad, my dad passed away in 2014, the day after Christmas, which his son grown into. David's earthly father is dancing and singing heaven over his son, and I am here on earth. Thank you, God. Signed, the forerunner's mom. So, this is me as a baby. These are old pictures. And, you know, I spent time in the hospital. A lot going on with my brain, having seizures. Dealing with a lot of stuff like that as a young kid. And I mean, you know, the devil tried to take me out a lot. I don't know what it is about me that the devil hates so much, but he tried very hard. And even tried to get me to fall away from Christ to believe that, you know, God wanted nothing to do with me, made a deal with me. And sent a demon to enter my heart, made a deal with me that I accepted, and all this stuff. And my mom is completely aware of this, and she knows exactly how much I changed when I was born from above. And she knows who I was before, what kind of a horrible person I was. I mean, I was so bad that when I was young, she was forced to throw me out of her house because I wouldn't listen to anything. I was just a complete rebel, and I had so much evil in me. But, yeah, God is good. God is really good. And, Mom, if you're listening to this, I love you. I love you a lot. 
you're my favorite mother. <laughs> um, you know, and I want to make a video with you when I come up and see you. You know, share with people your side. You know, things that you know I might not be saying that I I might not have been aware of, and things that you've seen, and the changes, and yeah. So we're gonna do that for everybody. Because, you know, a lot of people get on YouTube and they lie about their testimony and make themselves seem like they're something that they're not. And I don't want to do that. I want to be accountable to you guys. I want to tell you guys the truth and I want to be honest. So I was just sharing this with you guys. I love you. May the Lord be with his children. God bless.